Volvo and station wagons go together like IKEA and Swedish meatballs. The V60, Volvo's smallest wagon offering, is neither the latest nor greatest example of the breed, that would be the larger V90, but it still offers a distinctive combination of practicality and Scandinavian style despite its age. It was put into production in 2010 and went on sale in the United States in 2014. The standard V60 is the traditional choice, while the V60 Cross Country offers a bit of rugged appeal with its standard all wheel drive, raised rod height, and extra body clouding. The high performance V60 Polestar, with 362 horsepower, is for those few who want plenty of pace with their space. We typically prefer conventional wagons as opposed to their ruggedized, SUV inspired counterparts, but Volvo organizes the V60 lineup so that the cross country model makes the most sense from a value perspective. The V60 Cross Country offers a reasonable amount of standard equipment, its up-level platinum trim, for $46,695. On top of that, we'd also shell out $925 for the blue package, which includes blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert. If you live in a colder climate, you'll either want to pay $750 for heated front seats and a heated steering wheel or $1,300 for the climate package, which includes those features as well as heated rear seats, heated windshield wiper nozzles, and an interior air quality system. The final price of our preferred V60 Cross Country AWD Platinum is $48,920. Or you could completely throw caution to the wind and opt for the wild, 362 horsepower V60 Polestar Hot Rod for $62,595. And if you do want the Polestar, don't delay any longer, 2018 will be its final production year. The V60's cabin is nicely put together and attractive enough, but unlike newer Volvos, which are designer chic, it's hardly luxurious. A cramped rear seat compromises its family hauling ability, the V60 is the smallest wagon in this competitive set, so it comes as no surprise that the rear seats aren't especially accommodating for adults. It's only slightly claustrophobic for two back there, but squeezing a third into the middle position is a challenge. Small rear doors make access somewhat difficult, too. The V60's infotainment shares its Census Connect name with newer Volvo's modern looking touch screen systems, but it's an entirely different unit that's sorely in need of an update. Fussy controls and a lack of smartphone connectivity options are key downsides. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are notable omissions. All V60s are fitted with a 7.0 inch central display screen that comes standard with USB, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM satellite radio. Navigation is optional on the dynamic but standard on all other trim levels. Unfortunately, the screen is not a touch screen, meaning you must use finicky knobs on the dashboard to navigate the menace. Hard buttons for navigation and audio functions help somewhat, but they're clustered confusingly on the center stack. Volvo has transitioned in recent years to an all four cylinder engine lineup, and the V60 offers a 2.0 liter four cylinder in three strengths the turbocharged T5 with 240 horsepower, the turbocharged and supercharged T6 with 302 horsepower and the high-performance turbocharged and supercharged T6 Polestar with 362 horsepower. All V60 Dynamic and Cross Country models come with the T5 engine, while the R design is offered only with the more powerful T6 powertrain. The Cross Country, R design, and Polestar models come standard with all-wheel drive, while it is a $2,000 option for the dynamic model. The T5 performed well enough in our tests to make the considerable upcharge for the T6R design seem unnecessary. We haven't strapped our test equipment to a V60 T6, but its sedan counterpart, the S60 T6, sprinted from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds. The V60 Polestar is a different animal altogether, providing scorching acceleration that's not too far off from performance cars such as the BMW M3. Aside from the $100,000 plus Mercedes AMG E63S and Porsche Panama Sport Turismo, there's no other wagon on the market quite like it.